So this side has been a little less forgiving. Uh, this sidewalk, this concrete is pretty hard. Uh, and it's about eight or so inches thick. And so it's eaten a couple batteries already. And so I'll go until my batteries are dead. I'm already recharging the first two I burned through. Uh, but this will be three of the four sides then when I'm done. So uh, just is what it is. beautiful morning look at that sky beautiful day uh, right around eight o'clock headed off to a giant termite job uh, it's gonna take about 150 mixed gallons and so um, I'm prepped ready have a hundred gallons right now of just water I'll mix when I get on site and so I will have to fill up to get that additional 45 gallons um, but yeah, lots of drilling. Uh, the entire building is asphalt and concrete. Uh, there is very little to no soil around the building. Um, fortunately, they're in one, the termites uh, have shown themselves just in one area and I've located them just in one back corner. Uh, and so hopefully that back corner treats really well, which can be an issue sometimes with compacted soil underneath asphalt, pavement, concrete, and so. Uh, and then, of course, the other issue is the building's been there for years. And so um, always making sure and ensuring that the call before you dig people have marked their lines. You're very clear on where lines are. Uh, and so uh, that's always the obviously the always the fear in the back of my mind when you're going around old buildings is what am I going to hit? What am I going to find? So uh, it's nice out, though. It's nice. It's been very, very hot. Uh, it's supposed to be 97 on Monday, so uh, we're going to get this done here on a Saturday. Uh, so, drilling along this building edge, so we started at that corner, we drilled down. Uh, this is why it is so important, and I greatly appreciate 811, uh, the call before you dig people here in Indiana for us. So, uh, they've marked this gas line where it's going per our instructions on what we were doing, which is drilling within a foot of the foundation. And so knowing that, they marked that gas line for me. So I'll drill up to here. <clears throat> Obviously we're not trying to hit gas lines. So, uh, and then this is where it goes into the building. I have a mystery vent here. That's always fun. Um, but then keep drilling along here obviously the concrete pad concrete pad where they had AC units sitting um, and so you can see where the ground was for that uh, and then we've got our fiber line right here with the hookup box and then back alleyway which I'll drill around as well but this appears to be uh, the the hairy side if you will uh, I always try and do these first get sort of the scary stuff out of the way if anything's gonna go wrong type stuff so nothing should but yeah appreciate the call before you dig people uh, they do a great job so one of the things as I'm drilling here to make sure that I'm not hitting anything you know with this gas line right here making sure that I'm not hitting anything I shouldn't be hitting is you can see where this is gonna be concrete you know the top parts of asphalt but then I'm hitting dirt right there you can see the actual sand and so as I'm going along these holes here, down here, you can see a lot. So that's how I'm making sure that I'm getting to the soil when I drill down. And so here you can see, as we pick this up, as I punch through, you know, that's actually dirt. So we know we're good there. So. extend my tape out a little beyond 36 so I can get two holes because if you stretch beyond 36 inches if you're off by half an inch you're drilling say 17 and a half and that measurement gets really off and then technically you're not going by the label so I only measure it for two holes uh, when things are super flat inside a garage and whatnot you can go three four feet measure it out that way drill three holes four holes at a time but uh, I like to just do two holes at a time when I'm doing something that's uneven. And again, 
again, I'm making sure I'm hitting dirt in all of these. So I keep, you know, as I punch through, I'm hitting dirt. So we know we've punched through the concrete asphalt, whatever's there. So we've reached the soil so that termitoside can then bind with the soil. They all did that. side is done now. Now both sides drilled probably, I don't know, 75 holes, somewhere in there. All right, now I have to sweep up all of the mess that I've made along there. So my trusty dustpan. And normally there's soil around like say a house and normally I literally just dump it back in the trenches that you build around the house. But since there's no soil, I bought a trash bucket.
so we sweep up all that dust like so and then um, after after a couple of rains a lot of the dust you see right there a rain or two all that dust will wash away you won't even know and then we'll just have the half inch holes which after we treat with termiticide we plug with a non-cellulose plug and then we put quick creek patch over it so they'll just be hole spacing around the entire building every 18 inches or so This side of just blacktop is actually drilling incredibly easy um, because it has hasn't been concreted over, asphalted over generation after generation. So we like these. It's all soil on this side. You can tell there's maybe three or four inches of blacktop, and then it's just straight good black soil. So this side has been a little less forgiving. Uh, this sidewalk, this concrete is pretty hard. Uh, and it's about eight or so inches thick. And so it's eaten a couple batteries already. And so I'll go until my batteries are dead. I'm already recharging the first two I burned through, uh, but this will be three of the four sides. And when I'm done, so uh, just is what it is. on that battery so overall running my uh, DeWalt 20 volt here um, I have four six amps that I'm running and then a 10 amp and then I have a couple fives but uh, just rotating them out and so I've burned through four actually four batteries so to do almost three sides on four batteries is actually pretty impressive in my opinion um, so I have two on the charger already. They should be fully, they take about 20 minutes or so when they're hot. They take about an extra five, 10 minutes to charge when they're hot. Um, cause they have to cool down first. And so I'll go just cycle batteries out and then I've got the back asphalt here to do the back corner and then over to the dumpster, which is the end of the first side that I, or the first side that I ended on. So, um, probably realistically another hour or so of drilling, maybe. Um, and so that would put me at, let's see, two, about three hours of drilling, somewhere in there, three-ish. So, um, but it just is what it is. That was priced accordingly. Um, and then we get a mixed product and treat. And we're back. I'm gonna take my gloves off for a while because my hands are sweating. And so they're getting all pruney. see all these holes um, again it took almost three batteries to drill all that but that's probably about three dozen holes so 
Uh, three of the sides are done. We got blacktop back here. Uh, and I'll show you, there's another gas meter back here because there's another unit attached to the building. Uh, there's two separate units in this building. And so, um, yeah, just keep grinding. There's the side I just drilled. I'm gonna sweep that up. As you can see, when you come out here, we've got gas line running that way and it's running up to there. So they've marked it out here. So it's running, it looks like, you know, that's, 18 inches maybe and then it's ended right here so uh, we have to stay away from that in the ground obviously so then the rest of this uh, should drill fairly easily so we'll take our time on this make sure we don't make any mistakes all right we've drilled down through so i just stayed very tight to the building uh stayed very tight stayed inside the lines there as you can see there's gas um put all the way down and another thing that made me nervous was an actual power cable. This thing runs to the power line. <laughs> uh, so we cautiously drilled around that. Made it to this corner, so got this corner left. And again, gonna go swap out a couple of batteries that are sitting on the charger. So hopefully we have two batteries worth left here. But uh, as to why the termites could be here, you know, you've got old telephone poles, uh, you've got an old barn that's not even 10 yards across the alley. And this is the back corner of the building that actually had ter active termites. And so if I had to suspect as to where they're coming from or why, uh, certainly they could be in the telephone poles, but normally the telephone poles, they soak in creosote and Lord knows what else they put on telephone poles so bugs don't eat them. But uh, yeah, so we got, uh, what is this? Probably 30 and about 50. So we've got about 80 linear feet left. Somewhere in there, that might be like 60, 65. So we'll just call it 100. Then all the drilling and the trenching will be done. Like drilling extra ones right here on the corner so uh, you make sure and have product appropriately applied on each side rather than going 18 inches. About 20 more feet.
that's a wrap. All right, we're all finished up here, so last hole, last hole in that side, boom, boom. Behind the dumpster all the way down, around the corner. I think all in all, it took probably about three and a half hours. So, it is done, all of it. All right, so, like I said, overall, it took about three and a half hours. Um, I would guess roughly 300-ish holes. Uh, it's not always, you know, you can measure the linear feet, measure everything out. It's not always gonna be a perfect every 18 inches, and so you could just take the linear feet and divide it by 18 inches. It doesn't always work that way. Um, because you've got to drill in or around certain things. Uh, obstacles, maybe a drill hole doesn't go here or there, things like that. So, but uh, hopefully you guys like this. Um, this is just the drilling portion that goes into treating for termites. So um, drilling for termites, uh, just hard labor. Uh, in a situation like this where it's all asphalt, there's no reasonable way to put bait stations out here. You would have to core drill all of these, uh, and that would take you all day. I mean, I'm talking 10, 12 hours to core drill something like this. So uh, liquid treatment, got everything marked by the call before you dig people. Um, try and do everything safe, sound, not in a big hurry. Uh, doing it on a Saturday because the businesses are closed. Um, and so, yeah. Is what it is so now everything is done as far as drill i'm going to sweep clean everything up and then mix product get to treating so hopefully you like this video uh i like sharing this this is great for me to just kind of gives me something else to do while i'm monotonously drilling for three and a half hours so thank you very much please like subscribe comment if you like these or what other videos you'd like to see from me thank you